Alright, so good day learners. So today, let's talk about energy from volcanoes. Our objective for today, define geothermal energy and illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use. So energy from the volcano. Since our country is a home to more than 100 volcanoes, energy has been tapped from them. In the Philippines, power plants produce electricity by using fossil fuels such as natural gas, coal, and crude oil. Um, Philippines ranks second in the world's production of geothermal energy. And according to the Department of Energy, 14.4% of the country's total power generation is produced from geothermal energy and the production of electricity from geothermal energy is cheaper than the electricity production using the fossil fuels like such as natural gas, coal, crude oil, and hydropower. So what is geothermal energy? Geothermal energy, this heat from the Earth's interior as a source of energy that's called geothermal energy and since the earth is believed to be extremely hot from within the heat of the earth warms up the water which is trapped in rock formations beneath its surface So geothermal energy, how it works. So geothermal energy is generated in two ways. So we have geothermal power plants and we have geothermal heat pumps. Okay, so the deeper in the depth of heat source to produce energy. So for the geothermal power plants, the heat from deep inside the earth is used to produce steam to generate electricity while geothermal heat pumps use the heat coming from close to the earth's surface to heat water or provide heat for buildings. So the location of geothermal energy in the Philippines. Since the Philippines supplies about 12% of the nation's energy with a long-term plan to produce nearly twice as much by 2040 as envisioned by the Department of Energy. So these are the different geothermal energy located in the Philippines. So we have um, located in Albay, in Tiwi Albay. We have the Bachman in Sorsogon. The other one we have the Negros Oriental in Palinpinon. So that's kind of geothermal energy. The other one we have in Leyte, the Tongonan. The other one is the North Cotabato in Kidapawan. And we have in Laguna or the Makiling Banawe. So that is. So we have the Laguna or the Makban geothermal power plant. So, how an electricity from geothermal energy generated? So, these are the process of producing electricity in a geothermal power plant. So, first, so the wells are drilled deep into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface. Second, when the water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam and third the steam spins a turbine which is connected to a generator that produces electricity fourth the cooling tower cools the steam which condenses back to water and last the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again meaning on this the turbine or in the generator this one is generated electricity and, and during in the cooling 
process or on the third process where the cooling tower cools the steam which condenses back to water again and the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again and the process from um, hot water to the steam and having the turbine and generator that produces electricity in the different geothermal power plant located in the Philippines. So, the question is, how do volcanic eruptions affect society? So, why live near a volcano? So, we have the harmful and the beneficial benefits um, as the effect of volcanic eruption. Number one is highly fertile soils, the soft rocks, and high mineral content because after the volcanic eruptions, pwede magkaroon ng high fertility ng soil. So, that is one of the benefits of having a volcanic eruption. The other one, we have the AST aesthetic beauty example on the Mount Fuji in Japan the other one is the aesthetic in the beautiful disaster recently happened in Taal volcanic eruption also the mining of minerals and diamonds diba? during the volcanic eruptions madaming ilalabas na minerals and probably may diamonds the other one is the geothermal energy and hot spring because we all know that the volcanic eruption or the, or the volcano um, because of the hot spring or some geysers or fumaroles that we, can, we could generate energy from that from that nature all right the other one but we have harmful effect that could affect the society during volcanic activity or after the volcanic eruptions number one it could cause loss of lives and properties yes loss of lives the loss of livelihood of course if there's a loss of properties there's a loss of livelihood and also it could cause a respiratory problems all right for example asthma or the longest word now the longest word as of the moment the pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis so that is a kind of um, respiratory problems from um, inhaling Um, sulfuric acid or inhaling um, silico volcano or the silicons from the volcanic eruptions that could affect our respiratory system and that's all thank you for listening God bless you